Hello guys, this is Joe from Try Hard Turtle. Let me just begin with um, uh, an apology for not uploading recently. Uh, two reasons for this. One, I was going to upload last weekend, but I decided to get drunk instead. And my body punished me for that. <coughs> and I was just kind of amazed. <laughs> I was like amazed by the awe of uh, FIFA 13 because I, I really like this game. It's very good, but. Um, I thought I'd do a, um, for now, i will do a career mode series, because at the moment I haven't got a very interesting team, an ultimate team, and I'm, I'm playing kind of sway, I've only lost three games, I've played about 30, I think, so, well, it's alright, um, in Division 2, so yeah, FIFA 13, very good game, I, I love it, um, so I thought I'd do this career mode, I'll call it Back to the Glory Days, and of course I'm going to start off with Arsenal, and basically, I'm just gonna take teams back to their their uh, their glory days, really. Like teams that haven't won trophies in a while, and make them win trophies. And I thought I'd start with Arsenal because I support them, and obviously they haven't won a trophy in eight years. Um, I sped this up a bit because watching it back, I'm actually really, really slow. At, um, I don't know why. Like I I move up and down like really really slowly but um, yeah as you can see here it looks kind of like normal speed but that's that's it sped up so yeah um, at the moment I think I'm just sorting out the team because uh, obviously they like started Jenkinson and all that and it's like, yeah. so I think I think my lineup ended up Chesney, Sagna, Shelney, Vermarlin, Gibbs, Arteta, Wilshire, Cazorla, Walcott Podolski and Juvenio. I think that's that's how it ended up. I know we'll see in a minute. But um yeah, like this episode there's no I don't I don't have any uh, what you call it? Uh, games. I don't play any games because it's literally just me sorting out the squad, uh selling players, buying players, like, inquiring about players. And yeah, well, I I'm going to start like well, talk a bit about the manager mode it's not much different to last year but it's a lot better uh, it's a lot more realistic uh, the transfers are like how you can inquire and stuff and you can like offer a player the only thing that annoyed me is that I'd like inquire for a player and they'd say like 14 million and I'd go okay 13 million with Squilarchi but no but why not why not just no one no one wants Squilarchi now or something I don't really blame them to be honest but yeah it's quite annoying um, I think I started off by getting a player on loan um, I, look, I looked at all the players that were out on loan and there they were some pretty decent players like here you can see the Real Madrid player, there's Barcelona players a lot of them, I think they might have come from the Barcelona B team most probably but they were all quite good so um, I think in the end wait, let's have a look I think I went for um, no, Pogba's there you know Pogba um, I think in the end I went for uh, Lalana not not on loan though like yeah I'm searching for Lalana now I, I wanted to buy Lalana because he's quite young um, I have him on my ultimate team and he's a beast like you just cannot let him shoot plus his four star skills he's a very good player I recommend him to anyone who plays ultimate team or maybe career mode I don't know but on career mode Southampton are stingy bastards and just would not sell him to me so I just kept inquiring for him and in the end I didn't get him I think I, I got someone else we'll see who it is in the end but um, yeah you can see me here inquiring for him and I, I, like, I quite like that about this game you can inquire about players uh, advance it a couple of days and then they'll tell you um, how much they want for the player uh, here, the scouting network is pretty much the same as um, uh, the last game. Uh, normally, I get the best scout and put him, like, say this one is Norwegian, uh, and I'll put him in um, at Norway because that way they get they get the best talent. Um, I don't know if there are really any good players in Norway, but 
I don't know, I, tr I trusted my scout, he looked pretty good, so I thought, why not? Um, Pedersen's alright, so yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I sold, yes, yeah, yeah, I'm selling players. Uh, I put a lot, quite a few players out on loan, as you can see, there already are quite a few players that Arsenal have out on loan. Arsenal have a really big squad, uh, especially full of very young players. Uh, Squilacci I put up for sale. <laughs> I just don't. I don't understand why Arsenal still have him. He, he's he's absolute rubbish, and he's 31 years old. Uh, Craig Eastman here. I think Arsenal don't have him anymore. I'm not really sure, but um, I think I just put him out um, uh, for loan. Uh, Ignacy Mikel. So a lot a lot of the young players that look very promising, I put out on loan, and hopefully they'll come back uh, with a good bit of experience, hopefully gone up some overalls. Um, because yeah, some some people would, would sell them that oh, he's a crap overall. But um, yeah, it's better to put your young players out on loan because sometimes they can come back and they've gone up loads of overalls. So it, it's it's good to, for to yeah. It's good for them to get the experience. Like it's this is like real life, you know, you you put you put your young players out on loan because they're not ready to play in the full team yet. But they ha they have uh, potential to be in the full team. Um, so yeah, uh, here I advanced I advanced it, and they came back to me. Southampton came back. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, they came back to me with a price. Oh, not yet then. <laughs> but yeah, they, they they do come back t to me with a price, and all I can say now is the price is very hefty. Um, I think I was willing to go along with it at first, but then it was literally I I tried I tried buying him so many times, and they were just like no 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 every time. It's like, do you actually want to sell him to me or what? No, here they they said I can't see that on my screen, but yeah, whatever that says, I think it's like 14 mil, and yeah, I was just like no way. Uh, so instead, I offered. Uh, a bit less than what they offered, and Squilarchi. I thought, you know, they might they might want Squilarchi at the back. Why not? Squilarchi is a good player, you know. It's not really, but um, yeah, just I quite I really I really like the manager mode, the pro one. I've like the pro career mode or player career mode. I've played a little bit. Uh, Bradley is doing a series on that. I don't know when he's going to upload it, but just look out for that. I think his player plays for Man U or something. He's who he supports, so... And <laughs> this bit's kind of embarrassing. I think we're coming to the end of the video. Um, but yeah, I was trying to find Norway, and I just could not find it. I was like, they are definitely in Europe. I know they're in Europe. I could not find where the hell they were. <laughs> I think I went past them once and then I was just going Southern Europe, East Europe, Central Europe and just could not find them, it was quite embarrassing. So I sped this bit up as well. Um, but yeah, I think I think it ends here, like when I sent my scout out to Norway. So um, yeah, this, this episode wasn't great but next episode I think we get some games in so look out for that. Um, but yeah, as always, thanks for watching guys, please like, subscribe, and have a great day.